Hey, Rock Idaho fans. This is Sean Taylor with Silver Creek Realty. That's me rocking out. And I want to introduce you to 2804 Shamrock Avenue out in Nampa. So here you are out in front of the house. Obviously, this picture's kind of taken towards the end of winter here. So the trees aren't full yet. But notice that it's got a four-car garage and plenty of room for RV parking on the side. Mature evergreen trees on a very quiet street. Great location, close to shopping, schools, anything you want, but again, very quiet location. Single level, which obviously is very coveted. Um, that four car there, as you see it, the two on the right are still being used. The middle section there has been converted into a bonus room. So hypothetically, it could be a more like a five-car garage if you wanted it to be, if you wanted to remove the bonus room and convert it back to a garage. Notice here on the close-up the incredible brickwork. Uh, here you are inside the house with the hand-scraped floors. Everything inside is nice and clean as far as the quality of ownership. It's been lovingly cared for. All the details taken care of. Carpets in great condition, fireplace works great, puts out a lot of heat. Notice the step up dining area slash office if you want it to be. Uh, sunken family room here, which is kind of fun. Plenty of space for any size furniture. So as you walk through the house, uh, sometimes in family rooms, you have to walk around furniture to um, move to the next room and this one it's not the case you can put your furniture in pretty much any location in there and it, and, and it uh, very convenient so here we walk into what could be the formal dining room you see the chandelier there it's currently being used more as an office we have a little bit of transition stuff in the room right now uh, a little sewing table pet container there a couple desks uh, kind of in the process of getting things cleaned up to to be moved you can see the very neutral paint colors throughout the house as well. Again, just high quality flooring. And we'll transition over here to the walkthrough kitchen that was remodeled a few years ago. Take a look at that. Full tile backsplash, granite tile, high quality wood cabinets, newer appliances, to give you a close-up here see where you got the handles you got pull outs in there my wife would love those she's wishing we had pull outs at our house that's not my hand that's my assistant by the way young guy my hands are old and withered you see the granite tile there you got the lazy Susan in that corner that he's not showing you here's a spice rack Caleb you're fired you need to show him the lazy Susan in the corner Pretty cool pull out, pull out there. And you see the full tile backsplash that I was referring to. She's got a huge refrigerator and that fits in there fine. We're going to step out here over to what's the pantry and the bonus room. Uh, this room right here, you can see it's a bit of a junk room right now, but she does more sewing stuff in there right now. Again, that, that good flooring is extended through that area. There's a window in there. It's really a good multi-purpose room. Some people might even call it a Costco room. That's where you put your big bulk stuff, your crock pots, all that good stuff. Now this is the converted room. Sorry it's a bit messy in the, in the pictures here, uh, but it would make a great place for a pool table, uh, theater room. Uh, if you chose to put a pool outside, it could be the pool room off of the pool with any size you know, entertaining you wanted to do. Uh, throw the grandkids out there or your kids, whoever. It's just a big, spacious room with French doors that go out to the incredible rear yard. Now we'll head back inside through the Costco slash mud room. Back through the kitchen here. And you'll look out at your eating space. Notice all the newer windows throughout the house, newer doors, great light fixtures. Again, I'm in love with the, the flooring that they've chosen. This is kind of a Venetian gold color tile. Well done. Well cared for. You've got a breakfast bar area for additional seating and hanging out with whoever's in the kitchen. Nice edges. Here's a little extra storage cabinet. Uh, just utilizing every square inch. Put some linens in there or whatever you want. Again, some pullouts. 
I'm not making you dizzy here with this video. There's another pantry over there that we missed. Plenty of room for your china hutch. And uh, pretty much any size family could should be able to fit at this kitchen table. You could add some extensions to it even and still be fine. <clears throat> we're going to walk over to where the bedrooms are past the front entry. I think we're going back to the front entry now. There you go. Nice door with some light coming in. A little bit of a transition area. It's kind of nice that somebody walks in. They're not standing in your kitchen from the front door. Some of the modern, newer houses do that. There's Caleb in the mirror. This is bedroom number one. And it is a bedroom. It's mount, got a mounted TV in there. That's negotiable. Got carpet. And here's the recently remodeled bathroom. Hey, there's our buddy Caleb again. And we've got a tile shower there. And a new vanity. New tile flooring in there. We'll go to the next bedroom. Again, neutral color, ceiling fan, light and bright room. It's got the two-tone paint, so the white trim has been painted for you already. If you've ever had to go back and paint trim, it's not a fun task. We'll go into the master bedroom. Again, the neutral colors. It's a little bit of a uh, yellow tone, but it does have the white. We call it the lid, the ceiling of the, of the room. Just makes it nice and bright in there. Nice light fixture, curtain rods, blinds throughout the house. Pretty spacious bedroom. And that goes into its own bathroom, which has been remodeled, which we'll take a look at here right now. Notice that big custom cabinet over there to the left. His and her seamless sinks. It's another thing that my wife loves that we don't have. Huge shower. Plenty of space there. It's got the nice relaxing bath area there. I don't know if it's quite a garden soaker, but it is spacious. It's not your typical really narrow ones. Again, the hers and hers vanity, or hers and hers mirrors and sinks. I say hers and hers because mine always ends up with my wife's curling iron and blow dryer in it. So You see the closets there, and as we leave, we're heading out to my favorite part of the property, which is the outside. I love, love, love this backyard. Now, this covered patio, we can probably provide you an invoice for it. It was not cheap. Look how extensive and long that is. Professionally done. Has a ceiling fan. It's got the solar lights out there. Huge back slab. You've got the pergola out here with the, uh, the bricks. And a water feature. Got a garden space out there. You should see this in the in the uh, spring and summertime. Just lush and full bird feeder. There's a better look at the um, exterior there. I believe it's got ceiling fans. I don't know if we're going to get a close-up of that. Rain gutters. This is just a great backyard. Very serene. Good place to entertain. Have people over. There's a horseshoe pit over there. Get that going. And... Uh, that's there's the storage shed over there throw the bikes in there the gardening supplies uh, this is a garden lovers haven I'll give you a close-up over there and over on the side like I said there's plenty of room for RV parking park a boat park of RV and a boat in fact get two boats and I'm just playing so this backyard kind of faces north, so you've got plenty of shade back there, but you're also going to get the sun in the back where that garden is all day long, which is what you want. It's got the French doors in. Like I said, all new windows throughout the house are new a couple, two, three years ago, so they're in great condition. Ceiling fans, the solar panels, like I said, and uh, throw the barbecue out there and enjoy. And thanks again. Call me if you need to see the house, 340-0000. Sean.